Good morning, everyone. I hope you've been enjoying the um, conference so far today. I hope some of you got to join Nicole Zumba break this morning. That was so much fun. Uh, we're going to do a more slow down uh, brain break right now. Um, and I want to give the disclaimer, I'm not a physical trainer or yoga teacher. So please listen to your own bodies and only do what feels comfortable for you. Um, and that being said, we're um, doing everything we're doing today can be done sitting in your chair. Um, we're just going to take some time to check in with our bodies, uh, release some stress and tension with some seated stretches. Uh, so go ahead and start by noticing your breath as it comes in and out. And if it's available to you, move so that uh, your feet are flat on the floor. I like to have my uh, legs at a 90 degree angle as much as possible. Um, I have my seat, I'm, I'm at the very edge of my seat. Um, and then sitting so that your back is as straight as possible. It can be helpful to imagine that there's a string pulling up at the top of your head. And then as you continue to notice your breath, as you get into position, just see if you can imagine letting your shoulders melt down, melt down your back. I also like to take a few moments and let my neck and head move until I find the most comfortable position possible. So we'll just take a moment, let yourself arrive here, notice your breath and get into our starting position. And as we start to get into more movement, another reminder just to remember to listen to your own experience and do what, what feels best for you. This might mean staying in stretches longer than I'm saying. It might mean doing them shorter or doing whatever feels best to you might not be, I might not even be recommending it. Whatever um, you wanna do that's gonna feel best for you, please, please listen to yourself. Um, so as we continue, uh, just go ahead and notice your breath as it comes in and out. And on your next breath in, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And as you breathe out, let them shrug down. Breathing in, shoulders up. Breathing out, shoulders down. In and up. Out and down. So go ahead and do a couple more shoulder shrugs with your breath. This is getting our blood flowing to our neck and shoulders uh, in preparation for doing some good stretches there. And on our next breath in, we're gonna hold our shoulders up for a couple of seconds. Just hold them up to your ears. And then when you breathe out, let your shoulders melt down your back. And we're gonna move into making the movement a little bit bigger. And this time as we breathe in, we're gonna roll our shoulders forward. And as we breathe out, let them fall down. So we're just doing circles with our shoulders now instead of up and down. So as we breathe in, pull the shoulders back together and up. And as you breathe out, bring them forward and down. Nice big shoulder roll, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Now we're gonna switch and make our shoulder rolls go the other direction. So as we breathe in this time, forward, up. And as we breathe out, out and down. Breathing in, forward and up. And as we breathe out, back and down. A couple more shoulder shrugs, circles with our breath. Nice. Okay, we're now gonna move into some stretching. I'm just making sure you all can hear me okay. Um, great. So. Uh, for our shoulder stretching, we're going to have one arm, whichever one you want to start with, right or left. I'm starting with my right arm. We're going to pull it across the body and then take your opposite arm and just give a gentle tug right past the elbow. And as you're doing this, 
try to keep your shoulder down. So shoulder down and arm across. And just give it a gentle little tug till it feels good for you. And breathe in. Helpful to think of your breath going all the way down into your belly and breathing out. Breathing in and out. In and out. Just a couple more breaths here. Remembering to keep the shoulders down. And we're gonna switch to the other side. So whichever arm you did last, do the other one and bring the arm out and in front of you across your body, the other arm a little bit past your elbow. And just give a gentle tug till, it, till you can feel the juiciness in there. And again, remembering to keep the shoulders down and away from your ears. Breath going into the bottom of your belly, breathing in. Breathing out, in, a couple more breaths here. Nice, then we're gonna do an, an eagle stretch. My coworker reminded me of the stretch the other day and I've been really enjoying it. So we're gonna take your right arm and left arm and we're gonna take I'm doing my right arm under my left and then hooking the hands back around to be in as together as much as possible. You can see mine are far apart. And then pulling your elbows forward and up until you really feel it. So I feel it right about here where my elbows are about as high as my shoulders. And that feels real good for me. So I'm gonna hold it there and you hold it wherever feels most comfortable for you. And we're gonna remember to take our breaths into our belly and out, really feeling into the stretch and remembering to keep your hands um, as straight as up as possible. So pulling them forward, breathing in and out. And again, keeping the shoulders down away from your ears while the elbows stay up. Great, and we're gonna switch to the other side. Um, so I had my right arm under, I'm now gonna have my left arm under and hook them around. And again, elbows up to where it feels comfortable, shoulders down, trying to keep the arms as straight up and down as possible. Some deep breaths in and out. Pulling the shoulders down, elbows up. In and out. In and out. Great. We've got some good shoulder stretching having happened. We're now going to move into doing a little bit of neck stretching. So, as you um, take your next breath in, we're going to go ahead and drop our chin down to our chest and just let your neck. Your head rolls so that you feel the stretch on the back of your neck. Roll from side to side. So like you're from ear on one shoulder, down around so the ears on the other shoulder. Breathing in and out, just feeling into where you feel the stretch and it feels best. And in our next breath, we're gonna find a place to rest on the side. So wherever feels best so that you're really feeling the neck, the stretch on the side of your neck. My ears just about above my shoulder, taking some breaths in to the belly and out. If you wanna place your hand on the top of your head to give a little more stretch, if you're not feeling it, go ahead. I'm feeling this plenty, so I'm gonna just not use my hand. Breath in and out. And we're gonna go ahead and Go to the other side, right until you feel it best. So I feel it right here. My ear's not quite to the, my shoulder, 
but that's where I'm really feeling it. So I'm going to just hang out here. You find out what's best for you. And take a breath in and out. In and out. Okay. We're going to move in to do a, a seated cat cow. So if you guys haven't done a cat cow before, um, as we breathe in, you're going to uh, drop your shoulders and head back and around. I missed it sideways, actually. It's okay. So you're going to round back and up as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you're going to round your spine forward. Pull your shoulders forward. Head drops down. Breathing in, up and back. Shoulders, head, spine rounds back. And as you breathe out, round forward and down. I'm just gonna do this a few times to stretch out the spine. So breathing in and back and out and down. In and back. Out and down. All right, got our spine moving a little bit, and that is um, right. Moving into our next one, we're gonna do a little bit of an overhead stretch. You probably do this a lot and don't even notice you're doing it. We're gonna just lift one arm. I'm starting with my right arm. Lift it straight up, get back into a, a straight up position. And then as you breathe out, let gently tilt over to your left side. I have my left hand on my thigh. And then just breathing into the stretch. So you wanna feel it along your side body, let your head hang, just stretching into that side, breathing in and out. And in and out. Now we're gonna move it to the other side, left hand up or the opposite of what you just did. Tilting over, feeling the stretch in your side body, breathing in and out. Really feeling a stretch down there. Stopping when it feels good for you. And coming back. We're gonna move into a seated spinal twist. So for this one, we're gonna, I'm gonna start on my right side. This is, can just, um, we're gonna, you can imagine wringing your spine out like a, a wet towel, it just helps to really release some of the tension you can feel in there. So my right hand, I'm gonna place it on the back of my chair. My left hand is going on my right thigh. As I breathe in, again, imagining that string is pulling up my head, going straight and as I breathe out, you're gonna just twist the torso and you can face backwards. You can let your chin go over your shoulder. And as you breathe in, straightening. As you breathe out, twisting. Breathing in, straighten. Breathing out, twisting. Be here for just a couple more breaths. And then we'll do the other side. So for the other side, left hand goes on the back of the chair um, and your elbows down. My right hand going on my left thigh as I breathe in, straightening the spine. And as I breathe out, twisting around. Again, you're, you can let your chin go back over your left shoulder. Breathing in, straighten up. Breathing out, twist. Breathing in and up, out and twist. A couple more breaths. All right, got some nice spinal stretch, stretches having happening. So we're gonna move into some uh, leg stretches. So I'm gonna see if I can. You can see, um, go ahead and sit on the seat of your chair and put one leg, I'm starting with my right leg, 
straight out in front of you and flex your toes up and then hinge at the hips and fold forward and try to touch your toes. I have uh, my left leg balanced or stabilizing me as I lean forward. You can feel it in your back, in the back of your legs. Whew. Breathing in and out. In and out. Switch to the other leg. So sitting up, my left leg is now uh, straight and foot is flexed up, hinging at the hips and just folding over to try and touch my toes. Breathing in and out, in and out. Whew. And for our final stretch today, I know we're a little over time if you all have to go, but um, I'm gonna, for my left leg, I'm bringing my, my right leg, my left leg is my toe on the floor, right leg and right ankle crossed over the, um, on the top of my thigh. So my right ankle is behind my left knee. And uh, this is to get in the hip stretch as a seated figure four. So if you want, you can use your hand, same hand and leg to push down a little on your knee and then hinging at the hips, straight back, bending forward until you feel the stretch. So I feel it right here, plenty good. You can take a breath in and out, in and out. my favorite stretch, I think. <laughs> and we're gonna do the other side. So my right leg is planted uh, on the ground. Left leg comes up, left ankle goes behind the right knee on top of my thigh. Again, if you want a little extra, same hand, same leg, push just gently on the knee. And then bending from the hip straight back until you feel the stretch in your hip. And I feel it right here. So I'm gonna breathe in and out. We'll be here for a couple breaths. Okay, <laughs> that is it for our stretching. I just wanna say thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, please enjoy the rest of the conference. We've got some great workshops scheduled for 12.30 and then a closing at 1.30. And thank you all for joining. <laughs>